Hi, this is Ben Schwillen and today I'm talking about a poem by Waldo Williams called A Kvrinach, Their Secret. One of my uh, favorite poems and what is their secret? Stick around and subscribe and find out what their secret is. Welsh poetry has a deep, long tradition, and I've gone into a bit about medieval poetry before, but I want to show you that it's modern and that it has modern poets who have given deeper meanings by harking back to older things. Walter Williams is one of those, and he's one of my favorites in the modern era. This is his edition, Dial Pren. It means wooden leaves. And it's a reference to the Bible, actually. And this poet in particular is a very Christian poet. It ebbs into almost everything that he wrote, including the poem that I want to share with you today. This is one of the greatest volumes of poetry I have ever read in any language. I highly suggest it. If I can find an English translation, I'll put it down below, but I don't know if it's there. Anyway, this is... You can find this in any Welsh language bookstore. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed in this. Even if you're an English speaker and you have to translate it line by line, you will be rewarded by the sheer depth and richness of his poetry. The poem that I'm talking with you about today, A Kavrina, Their Secret, is about Moses, the prophet. But it's not really about Moses. What is it about? I want to see if you can get that as I read this poem to you. Because there's something quite deep in this poem, considering that he was a Welshman and a Welsh speaker, writing about Moses in such a subtle way. See if you can get the deeper meaning in this poem here. And I'll explain it to you what it is after I read the poem here. Here we go. A Kavrinach, their secret. Kavrinach a teli, oi the ni caban. Agani Kavrinach, Kavrinach dew. Arwenev, ni wellent on gure de babam. Adwedenino, kaife view. Agoveroid hirdio in erben hidrus, rabid farao. Roi the hrieni. In Gweled, I vor in Vach Gintlus, Agnir of Nasant or Chamin Abrenin. Evni with I er Kamenti Hider, in for the Guato, Perleser, he thy, Jeremis Wedirescor Abrader, Alinio the Moored, Trui the Vice Mech. Agover, Frau, you grim will grass. A gair o all genill lioedd fel tonau. Gwech fy gwyd yn awr dy gerbyd y pres. Gan dy heair breich i a bronau. O, gymryf ym hobl, gwybyddwch ein hreibion oeso o'r thair ffraw brwnt. Eto yn dogryf y casgil ef eich mebion, yw taflu i hap. I fwrthi hwnt. Tu allt o den cyfoed i lestr i lef, an hoedl pa hyd i lwyd gwrylon, ond cipiwyd cenedl rhag i bedd, gan ddau y safodd yn byr i'r galon. What this poem was actually about, yes, it was about Moses, but what he's saying is these two people who, you know, they saved Moses and stood up against the Pharaoh here. And it's a metaphor for the Welsh nation and the Welsh people and their language. And that just a few people, even one or two people, if they act and take a stand and ensure that their descendants, the heritage of their descendants carries on, that their nation can endure whatever the world throws upon them, whatever heritage is taken away, and whatever treasures are taken and given to the Pharaoh as his feast, 
So that's the deeper meaning here. It's about heritage and keeping it alive in the face of deep injustices which people are unable to face just in one generation but have to endure them over subsequent generations. He evokes the Welsh here, O Gymru, my people, the Welsh, the Welsh speaking Welsh, especially because it is in this language. The Pharaoh collecting the sons. This is a metaphor for the Welsh being sent to war on behalf of the British for countries they don't even know. Because during Walter William's lifetime, there were a series of wars. The First World War and the Second World War. And he was conscientiously an objector to these wars, which is very important to understand in his frame of Welsh nationalism. But it's that last couplet that really drives it home after telling the story of Moses being pushed out of the river. And it's, but a nation was taken from the grave. It was saved from that grave by two, by two people who stood pure of heart. They saved that nation because that child became Moses and he led his people out of that desert into freedom. So it's really important to understand that this isn't really about Moses. It's about the Welsh people pushing forward that they will cross that Red Sea one day and maybe even find a higher meaning on some mountain that leads us Welsh and our nation into a great place. It's not about Moses at all. It's about Wales. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions about this poem or Waldo Williams' poetry, I'd be happy to answer that for you. Let me just show you that one more time. It's Dial Pren by Waldo Williams. Diochenvaur, and we'll see you in the next episode.